I want to check with the rat. Is he still inside here? I think rat... Shit, he might not be in here. He might have a... a... Shit, where is he? This is where he's supposed to be now. He might have something I want. Something useful. But if he's just gonna fucking up and disappear... So it's the currently selected mission. Ryan. Rats, way up there. Could check on him real quick. He expects me to kill Ryan. Weird how you can't even view the dialogue to Someone review the, the context again. Huh. If they don't take action, we're all in trouble. Well, I might want to get some more skills just so I can handle... They might, they might be able to resolve it if I had more points into things. And I do have four things just lying around right now. So may want to look into that. Easiest way to do so is actually to visit... Ah. I'm gonna pay a, a visit, visit to Rat real quick because I think he might sell something that, that's interesting. I may have forgotten what it might be, <laughs> but I think there was something that caught my attention that he's supposed to sell. Then aside from that, I might go back to the, the camp at the center and just get some skills trained up for personality and or combat just because I don't have a good rating and I'm getting hurt by just like even if I don't know what have major things I want in those trees I'm getting hurt reg regularly by not having those ranks when I do d conversations what goods have you sunglasses that's the one shit shit they're expensive holy shit um, 2,500? So, yeah, what I've heard about sunglasses is that they're bizarre and that they have a secret damage reduction bonus that I don't know if people even know if it's a glitch or not, but it's been in the game for a while now, so it seems like it might be uh, here to stay. Supposedly, not only is it 30% damage reduction, it's 30% damage reduction after armor is calculated. So it calculates the rest of your armor first, then it gives you a 30% damage reduction, and it's like, that's kind of a big deal. I don't have any dupe items. I try to keep various uh, items on hand just because I got duplicate ring of toughness. You can't wear two rings, right? I try to keep dupes on hand just because, uh, because of how the progression system works where you slowly get your stats up. You might want to have access to certain things at different times as you slowly get your stats up, and I'm... Not entirely sure where I stand on something, so I'm just gonna I try to play it safe by keeping one of each weapon on hand in the meantime. There we go. Should be able to get some money off of stuff like that. Is that my only trophy? No. I need money. Why did... Oh my god, let me script these. Okay, fine cup. Ah, oh, yeah, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Shit. And I don't have any other equipment. I could sell the helmet, because I'm about to not use it anymore. If I put this, these sunglasses on. So I guess that's a start. I still need like 50 more. Of course I do. Is there something that sucks? Health and stamina. This one gives you plus 10 health and stamina. 20, oh, plus 20 health, plus 10 stamina versus... Plus 10 health, plus 10 stamina. There's no reason to ever use the Ring of Hardiness. I think I've sold it a few times when I keep finding it. Because it's just, like, objectively worse. What's up with the symbols here, by the way? That one has, like, floating symbols next to it to make it more visible. But this one doesn't. It's like it's just a different layout for some reason. Anyway. That'll probably get me where I need, but it means I won't have the money for, uh... For being able to buy, uh... Other things. Shit. 
Let's go for it. Makes it kind of hard to train myself, because I'm going to be out of money now, so maybe I'll just deal with Ryan as is for my character. Well, get used to seeing my bald head again. Because here's what I'm going to look like now. Supposedly, it leads to a massive amount of damage reduction for some reason. On top of being th uh, glasses that make like various items around you easier to find. I imagine it might be like Batman vision, where like they practically just straight up glow around you. Oh yeah, look at him go. They just glow. Wow. He fought hard. He was a brave man when I knew him. We still haven't found all the copies of the contract. Yeah, let's hope we find the rest before someone tries to collect on it. What about your old boss, Jackson? Do you have an idea where he is? Jackson's still doing what he's always done, leading a group of Reavers. But he's gone sour. I mean, really bad. The guys he's running with now take anything from anyone. They murder. They... That's not how we used to be. Come on, we should find him before he finds me. Where is he? They're wanted men, so his gang is always on the move. Last I heard, he was hiding in Easton of Besser, near the dam. If Jackson's on the run, do we need to worry about him? He still got a copy of the contract for the hit. We need to take that out of circulation. I think if I say, let's go find Jackson, that we're gonna like teleport straight to him. Which we could, but I wanna deal with a few other things. Wow, everything's just glowing back here now. Does he get mad at me when I walk back here? Does he care? I like how that's a forbidden cultivator's loaf when it's like the most common thing we'll you ever see. Off, you? There's just floating shit everywhere now. Alright. I haven't talked to you for a while, have I? About these district overseers. Mad Bob will start his scrap deliveries again. Good. We need that scrap. Profit is good for all of us. You survived Mad Bob. You must have a knack for getting on with people. That could be useful. Rat seems to be potentially correct about this idea that, uh... Outing Chloe's problem makes her seem weak and how that might be a problem and that, like, going against her and manipulating things behind her might actually be for her betterment in some way. In that when we do these things, we can end up getting her payments done and then she still isn't... Like, she's not removed in the process by the leadership that sees her weakness. It just feels weird that she has no direct agency in it, in this decision process because none of us talk to her about it and call her out on her problem and and force her to uh, to like actually acknowledge the problem so that and move forward from there so she's not complicit in the solution which just feels weird So fuck off, will you, yeah? Really wish I had these things. God damn it. It's just Charisma 2. Okay. Good. Right. Really? I mean, shit. I thought you said you were going. I mean, I said fuck off and you said okay. That generally means you leave. So leave. Do you want to trade? Do I want to? Actually, yeah, I've got some things to trade. <laughs> this guy's interactions. Oh my god. He only really sells stuff I don't care about, though. But he's kind of great. What are you doing out here? You've gone through all that to ask me that? Are you serious? Yes. Man, man, you're a weird one. I'm Blake's bodyguard. I'm just out here on a break. What happens if he's killed while you're on a break? Ah, uh, Blake doesn't need me as long as he stays inside. He only takes me to watch his back when he goes ripper hunting. And when he goes on business trips. That's why I took the job. Plenty of free time. Does that answer your question? 
I thought about it, I'm going to punch you in the face. Oh man, he's a special one. I mean, shit. Ray, why are you so mad? Why are you so mad, huh? Alright. Personality trainer. Is there one in here? The outlaw trainer. Survival trainer. Oh, personality trainer might be at the bar. Come on, just... There we go. Charisma trainer. There's all these moments where I'm like, just highlight the thing I want. No, no, ah. Because you have two you have two options for highlighting, and the game likes to prioritize the one I don't want. Man, you can just find shit everywhere. Oh my goodness, look every look how much blue there is. Might all be worth grabbing, but it's just, it's just everywhere, taunting you. Oh my god. Teach me something. All right. So I'm gonna have to. Okay, I need first. I need a little bit of money. Then I need to get a few points into something, but I have some to spend if I want to. Traders giving you a discount is probably not a bad thing to get. Especially if I want to start buying, uh... Let's see, I need combat 3 or personality 2, right? Personality doesn't hurt, because if I get 20 cunning, I can get Haggler. That gives me better prices at vendors the whole game. That's not terrible. 5 points into cunning gives me... Oh, 10 attribute points, I don't want that one. I think at least I think I don't want that one, especially since like you need to spend two points to get a point in this game So it's like a really frustrating outcome An additional point every time you level up you need a lot more intelligence that I have I'm looking for the stuff that I'm close to being able to afford already Which is unfortunately almost none pretty much just got to go for haggler All right Take care So cunning 30. There we go. And now I just need a little bit of money. Just a little bit of money. I'm sure I can find just a few things to sell. Like some consumables or something. Single use alb power wave spell. Worth 60. So I only really need to sell like two. Teach me something. All right. There we go. Charisma plus one. Now we're at three, no, two combat, five survival, six crafting, two personality. Combat's still low. I think I, yeah. I can afford more combat upgrades though, even if they are for things that I'm not super psyched about. The main thing I need there is money. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna fucking grab everything. Isn't liquor the one that I can? I'm pretty sure liquor is the specific one. Hey. Ooh. That's hey, it. I'm going. Yes, you. I'm looking for some. Chad. Stop that. Have you, you seen that whiny little shit? <laughs> Why? Uh, what do you want with him? What's what I want got to do with you? Just tell me if you've seen him. What are you doing oh, there? No one around here is scared of you. And I'm Do you know under what you're doing? Oh, that's funny, because you seem scared now. And looking around, I can't see the Duke anywhere. So, tell me where Chad is, or I'll nail you to this boy. You tiny little ball. Ah, all right, all right, he was here. He was here. Then he, then he went off somewhere. Somewhere? Where? I don't know. Ah, yo, yeah. Ignadon. I think he went to Ignadon. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? Whereas this knife is very hard steel. Thanks for the information and everything, but I can't have you blabbing to the Duke. But halt! Not so fast. What do you want in the fort? I was already in the fort. God damn it! You're cutting off my audio log of the incredibly convincing sounding well-acted torture scene that's definitely totes legit and not incredibly awkward. <laughs> eh, he's probably about to kill him anyway. Spike is giving me trouble at the other gate. What sort of trouble? Was he trying to get shards out of you? Yes. That ass is one of Baxter's men. 
I don't know why the Duke still tolerates him. I think he scares them. Even William won't try anything with him. Pay him or get out of his way. It's your decision. Just watch your step and don't annoy the Duke. That'll get him annoyed that I let you in. And I don't need that sort of trouble. It's okay, in you go. And remember, make profit, have fun, and don't cause any shit that will blow back on me. What are you doing here if you let everyone through? Staying alive, my friend. I'm staying alive. That's why I got posted to this side of the fort. The other side, that's where the real action is. By the converter. My job, well, you could do it with a robot and a ticket machine. <laughs> That'd be great. It'd give me more time off. Why is the converter so dangerous? Because of all the creatures there. That and when the Alms decide to attack us, that's where they'll come from. That'll give them a nice short walk when they drag everyone out of here to throw them into the converter. That's why the gate up there is so well secured. Nobody will get through the gate there. But as I said, you could manage this gate with a robot. With a robot? Now that is an idea. Pay me, and I'll find you a robot. Are you serious? But no, I can't just let myself be replaced by a robot. Can I? You could definitely replace yourself with a robot. Let me think about it. I mean, the clerics use robots for things like this all the time. Not that I know anything about clerics, but laying around and letting a robot do my work sounds pretty good, actually. Any idea how we want to do that? I mean, of course, only if you want to help me. No, I guess we would need help. Do you know anybody who could help us? Well, there's Elmar, one of the cleric prisoners. He's a genius at this stuff. But first, we'd need an AI module from a drone, so Elmar can reprogram it. Yeah, this is gonna work. We can do this. You get that module, and I'll give you 10% of what I earn off the gate. How does that sound? I'll get you an AI module. Yeah. There's a drone not far from here. Looks like it's intact, but it's broken down. Here, I'll give you the coordinates. See if it has an intact AI module. Are you sure these coordinates are correct? Yeah. Why would I give you the wrong coordinates? Look, you see the beacon over there? If you go to it, you'll find the cliff wall fast enough. Then, when you're standing in front of it, look right, and you'll see a canyon. The drone's down there. What is there here in the fort? Everything you could ever want. There's the arena in the fighter's district. That's run by Blake, or is it Big Jim? I'm not sure anymore. Then, if you're looking for Alexit, there's the Scrap District, but that's controlled by Mad Bob, and you're better off staying out of his way. And there's the Trading District. I don't know who's managing that these days. Being a boss, an overseer here, tends to be a job for life, if you get my meaning. Except the Duke. He controls everything, and he's going nowhere. Whereas you, you should go to the best place in the fort, the Entertainment District. Chloe will make sure you're taken care of. I find this quest amusing, but what do you do? <laughs> what, what is the what is the re replacement robot going to actually do in your stead? Because he just was like, "Hey, yeah, don't don't make a mess." That's all he said. He didn't like vet me or ask me any questions or I didn't show him papers like. He says, like, I could be replaced by a robot and a ticket stand. I'm like, the ticket stand would do more than you do. A ticket stand would have, like, a tickets or something. Some kind of actual process. So fuck off, will you, yeah? If you want to be alone, why ask me a question? What? I just want to be left alone, okay? So fuck off, will you, yeah? If you ask questions, you must want answers. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Fuck, you're right, I do ask a lot of questions. Maybe it's a cry for help. Maybe I don't really want to be left alone. Yeah, I never thought of it like that before. I thought about it. I'm going to punch you in the face. I told you, I'm out here on a break. 
This is the last shit I need on my time off. I'll get you. <laughs> that was a really funny conversation. I'm happy I went back and got it. Anyway. There's a lot of misses happening there. We're doing great. We're doing great. <laughs> that was all right. Thanks for your input, Ray. Fascinating as always. We're doing great. Wait, is that an item I can pick up? No, it's not. I was like, did my sunglasses wear off? I'm, I find it weird that the sunglasses say they temporarily work. I'm like, why temporarily? Do they wear off? They're, they're expensive ass items. I'm here for the damage reduction because it makes the whole game more manageable, but I'm like, what do you mean temporarily? Why? We're doing great. Dried meat, it's all forbidden. Don't worry about it, it's fine, I'm your friend. We're still you? friends, friends, hello. Wait, what? You wander to one dude's house and everyone gets really interested all of a sudden. I thought they were all outlaws, but suddenly they're all like, we're a coalition of people that work together. This is the neighborhood watch. As opposed to just being like the one dude that should be mad at you. Do I have stuff to cook? Bloody burger, sure. My approach to cooking is, can I cook it? Then cook it. That's the whole approach. Which I should be a little careful with because some of these things are... Yeah, usable by multiple recipes, I suppose. Just want to make sure I've got random crap that I can eat in time of need. Oh. My. God. How would you ever notice these? Like the sheer density of items in some of these spots. Then you make it glow blue and suddenly it's like, I can see everything. I can see every- stop it. Stop it. I didn't ask for you. Oh my god, secret healing potions. Who's putting these here? Who's like, you know what I need? A stack of healing potions so I can put them on a weird, discreet cliff. And then I'm gonna decorate every random cliff with more healing potions. Because that's what a sane person does, is just put healing potions everywhere. These glasses are absurd. Holy crap. Just keep getting more stuff everywhere. How is that? How am I not like the most like hated man in this country at this point with the way that I just... Oopsie. No one saw that, right? I wasn't expecting that to be the one forbidden thing. I don't think anyone saw it. Sneaky sneaky. Definitely not that guy right down there that should have probably seen it. Ryan is dead. Right. I put my name on the list and got it in place. It's going to be fishy if I turn up and tell Blake his bodyguard is dead. You had better do it. So he said... He got mad at me for suggesting that he would have to sneak in there with the note and everything like that. And like, you, it's like, I'm just helping you. I don't need to help you. Get really mad. Then the next step in the plan, he does the reverse part of that, which is that he sneaks back in with a note with his, with his name on it. So he he's willing to do like the exact same thing, but only when it's his idea, I guess. Won't Blake think it's strange? Me telling him about the bodyguard. What? You mean that he's dead? He might suspect I killed him. Yeah, so what if he does? People get killed in Tavar all the time. And he is pretty used to his bodyguards dying on him one after another. Just go to Blake and tell him you found Ryan's body. You could even suggest that he needs to get a new bodyguard. Sometimes he can be a little slow on the uptake. Right. Then come back and tell me when he knows about Ryan. Oh, you're saying he's an idiot. That's very useful for the whole tricking him with a very stupid plan thing, is that he, if he's just a stupid person. Let's do just, want, just a little curious if he has anything interesting really quick. No? Oh well. I found your bodyguard. What do you mean, found? He's dead. <laughs> I knew that guy wouldn't last. You know when you get that feeling that you're gonna have to find yourself another bodyguard? You'll have to find another. Yeah, yeah. And I hate interviews. Fortunately, having been in this position before, I have a handy list of people ready to take on the job. Oh well, on to the next one. Thanks for letting me know.
The information about your bodyguard should be worth something. Yeah, yeah, all right. Here, take these shards. Now get out. Haha, <laughs> got money out of the deal. Hooray. I mean, it'd be suspicious if I didn't ask for a reward for giving him information for free in Tavar. Blake knows Ryan is dead. Okay, now we wait until he comes to me. I have an idea what you could do in the meantime. How about you go to Doc and get us something to celebrate? Isn't it a bit premature to celebrate? Don't worry. Just let the good rat do his thing, my friend. This plan is in action. And that means it's pretty much a certainty. Here, take a few shards. That should be enough to get something from Doc. Where did you get those shards from all of a sudden? You know, shards, they sometimes just turn up. Oh, and tell Doc he should mix us up something special. Just tell him I sent you. Hey, that's Blake coming now. We'd better not be seen talking. Why do I feel like he's betraying me and like trying to poison me or something? Hey, rat. Blake, my friend. What do you have on your mind? I have a job offer for you. A job offer? Quick to the point as always, huh? So, what's the job? I need someone I can trust. And I heard from a safe source that you are such a person. A safe source, huh? Yeah, you see, I need a new bodyguard. Ryan has become unreliable. Unreliable? Yeah, you know how it is. He has a habit of disappearing. And he's disappeared again. That's not a good habit for a bodyguard. No, no, it's not. So, this job, what does it involve? Come with me. I will show you what it's about. Okay, you have a deal. And then they just book it. Of course, that's the sane thing a sane person does. Also, Rat is leading the charge. Which, on one hand, I would think would be like the game tipping its hand that Rat is manipulating and working against me throughout this game. Because uh, that seems like the, the obvious outcome of this whole storyline. Uh, but it's probably just janky-ass game being janky because that's what this game does. But it would be pretty funny if that was the game just blatantly giving it out. I try to avoid forbidden items, mainly because it's just hard to tell whether or not people can see you most of the time. How do you even get inside there? Is there a door? Oh, here we go. Ah, things are forbidden in here. Even the... That's forbidden? It's a mushroom growing out of the ground. Is he just, like, emotionally attached to that particular mushroom? Made it. Hello, bodyguard man. How you doing? Alright, yeah, everything in here is definitely not something you can just take. Did I talk to Doc? Oh, yeah. There was no prompt, but we're, I guess we're good. Rat sent me to pick up a few chems. Ah, the good old rat. Yeah, yeah. He said you should send him some of the special stuff. I know, I know, the good old Doc knows. The special stuff, right? Yeah. You want cams, you come to a camsmith. Exactly. No problem. I will take care of it. Trust the Doc, and I will get to work on it right away. Come back in a few hours. I'll have them ready then. Neebs is really upgraded from selling brooms. Oh my god. Is that going to be a thing that happens? Okay, just, I guess my head got stuck in something. I'm like, hell, glasses and blinking eyebrow is an uncomfortable thing to just have show up like that. The yeah, rat wants to celebrate his promotion with chems. I guess we'll go do something else in the meantime, like that interesting job about that guy automating himself with a robot. I was missing a man to get it for him. It's just not a good fight. Oh right, that's Bill. That's the that's a, that's not a mechanical guard. That's different. This this is the one that was talking about some sort of massive power source or something. Hopefully, I can find like a uh, let's teleport up here. 